EGS soldering iron not working, you don't trust to buy a new one. In this video, I will show you exactly how to diagnose and repair a faulty soldering iron all by yourself at home. Most soldering irons stop working because of simple, fixable issues. The three most common problems are 1. A damaged power cord 2. A broken heating element and 3. Luge or burned internal connections. Hey guys, today I'm fixing my old soldering iron. It's not heating at all, completely dead. So let's open it up, test everything step by step and try to bring it back to life. Alright, first I'm just plugging it in to see if it hits. Nothing. No heat, no smoke. It's fully dead. Okay, let's dig a bit deeper. Now I'm gonna check the soldering iron using this multimeter. No. It's not working. Sometimes the plug can be the issue, so I'm checking here. Mm. Visual everything looks fine. No burnt marks, no loose pins. Seems okay. Moving on. Alright, time to open it up. But look at this. The screw are totally rusted and jacked. I tried a screwdriver, then pillars. Nothing works. Okay, now I'm grabbing my angle grinder. And gently cutting off the screw head. Always be careful with this part. Sparks might fly, so I'm wearing safety glasses. There we go. It's opening now. And I can see inside. And yep, the heating coil wire is broken. The whole element is burnt out. That's definitely why it wasn't heating. Old age and overuse, maybe. Okay, uh, let's remove the damage call and tip. Before I install the new one, I'm testing it with uh, the multimeter. Yeah, this one is good. Full continuity. Now carefully replacing it in. Tightening the screws, everything fits nicely.
setting all the skills again, making sure everything's secure. Look solid now. Let's give it power. All right, I'm plugging it again. Waiting a few seconds. This iron's pretty old and rusty, but it still works if we clean it up. Yes, it's heating up fast now. Let's test with some solder. Yep, melting is smoothly. That means it's fixed. So that's how I fix this uh, dead soldering iron just by replacing the heating coil. If this video helped, hit the like and subscribe button for more helpful videos like this. Thank you.